Hello, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind the mess, okay? This is a vlog. If my vlogs are anything, they are realistic. So here we are. But this week I am taking quite up the week off. It's also a holiday week. So this is gonna be kind of like a reading slash life vlog. But the vlog itself is dedicated to Illustrated Girl by Josephine Angelini, my favorite author. If you're new to my channel, this is my favorite author. But because this comes out tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I should have already read it, but life and work got in the way and that's all I'm gonna say about that. But I'm really excited for this. It's described as a cozy fantasy that has some deep topics. You know, it has a happy ending and it has lots of laughs and stuff like that. And Josie said it's a great palette cleanser in between your epic fantasies. So I'm really excited for this and I am going to take you on the journey of me reading it. So yeah excited about this. And then I will be starting kind of a small series on my channel or it may be a big series but I am trying to work on getting a small business kind of up and running. In this vlog you'll probably see me working on it and I show you a couple things but for the most part that introduction and you know explanation what I want to do is going to kind of be in that video in those vlogs but while I'm doing a lot of that I've been trying to listen to some audiobooks. I finally finished um, A Fire on High and it was lovely and then my hold came back in for dial a for aunties and I am really excited to kind of get going on this. I am not a huge fan of the audiobook narrator. It just, I don't know how to explain it. And we're just going to kind of see how far I can get into these things this week. It should be a good time. I haven't vlogged in a while. I haven't made a video since before I left for Japan. And yeah, I'm back. I've been back for months. I got engaged while I was there. And yeah, so... I don't know what I'm doing so this vlog may be a hot mess but stick with me okay but yeah I will update you when I work on this bye Washing the bedding. Look at me being productive. Okay, I have to do. Today, I want to continue cleaning the spare room where I have my craft desk and stuff like that. So I do want to work on some of that this whole week. So I need to do some dusting, some vacuuming, and I did get a new printer. So I need to make room for that. And right now, everything's just kind of everywhere, and I haven't really decided where I want everything and how I want to kind of work through things. So today I want to really clean up that room and then tomorrow I'll probably plug in my printer and you know do some stuff and then I'll probably play more of my Disney Dream Light Valley game. I need to plan out some of my projects that I want to launch on my website or Shopify or Etsy or whatever I decide on. I do want to uh, plan all of that out. I did this yesterday. Oh my gosh I get to cross something out. This is so exciting. Sure, 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 sure. My I think I put too much anti-frizz. It just looks greasy now. Oh, and I need to run to Costco and or Ikea. I live really close to both because I'm looking for some um, bulk items for my store launch. So even if I don't buy anything, I kind of just want to see what's going on and what's available and all of that. But yes, that is the plan. I still need to finish up a couple things for work. I will probably log off in about an hour and kind of go from there. Here we are. It is Tuesday morning and I started work a little bit early this morning because I'm taking another part day, half day, whatever you want to call it. I did nothing. I finished my rewatch of Bridgerton season two and that makes me officially like what done kind of. So like when season three came out I watched it and then I rewatched season one and I just finished rewatching season two. And so now that I'm at in the middle of it I can get my other things done that I wanted to get done this week. And 
and yesterday I got up really early to take Sean to the airport and I think I just needed a rest day so there's that but last night before bed after I finished Bridgerton season two I started Illustrated Girl I think I read two chapters yes so nine percent it says I only have four hours and 40 minutes left of this book so I think today or tomorrow I'll definitely finish it like that's not a lot at all but so far my thoughts so far is that it is fun and witty so it's fun and witty and the character two chapters in she's really realistic this is the first time where I've seen like myself in a character like so much like right at the beginning of a book so I'm always really sassy and witty and all of that I always have a smart comment to say and it's just it's really nice to see the internal dialogue of a character like this because it's kind of what my internal dialogue looks like but so far I'm really enjoying it basically chapter one and two is just us getting an explanation of why this girl is trapped in a book and how or why she needs to get out and stuff like that so and Josiah said that like it's fun and it's witty it's a good palate cleanser in between those epic fantasies but there's still some like heavy or like serious topics included and so far I think I've only seen one and there was shutting oh uh, yeah she was talking about like kind of what she usually did on a saturday night when she was back in california and it was basically just babysitting and then like reading books on her phone when the child went to bed and she said i was basically getting paid to do what i would be doing on a saturday night anyway but without having to listen to my parents arguing in the background easy money so we kind of get look into what her family may be like and and I think that helps make the character a little bit deeper even though it's kind of a palette cleanser type of book. So uh, I'm really excited to learn more about her and it looks like we are meeting someone else and kind of going from there. But I have four interviews this morning. I had my interview start earlier yesterday and today to fit more in because I was taking half days and stuff like that. But uh, um, yeah, it just makes for a very, very busy, long morning. Yes, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the morning into the afternoon. And then uh, this afternoon, I'm not there yet. I will think about it, maybe make a little to-do list again, or just work on yesterday's to-do list, to be completely honest, and kind of go from there. Um, otherwise, yeah, that is, that, is what I, that is what I have for you. I have my monster and the first part of my work day, which... I overbooked, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Okay, bye! Okay, it is two in the afternoon, and I just finished my half part day thing going on. And today, for work, it was like, it was a success, I would say. And there's a heavy bear. But uh, now I want to work on the stuff that I said I was going to do yesterday. First and foremost, going to Costco to see what kind of stationery they have in bulk. And then I also wanted to maybe sort of kind of go to, I said Costco and or what? Ikea for other things. But I need to reply to Princess's video replies. It's been like three or four days since I've reached out to her and she replied and I went MIA which is very on par for me. But I am going to go reply to that. And then I'm probably gonna leave. I'm probably gonna stop and get a milkshake because I'm really craving one. And then go to Costco, maybe Ikea. I don't know if I'm in the mood for it. Then come back and do some of the other stuff that I really need to do. Yeah, that's what the kind of the rest of the day that's supposed to be interesting is going to be. But don't worry, I'll take you on my journey. <laughs> I did end up getting some stuff at Ikea. Please hold. I'm not gonna allow myself to play my game tonight. I am actually going to only focus on reading after I do the art room and then I wanted to try cutting some of my vinyl, not vinyl, uh, the cat's food bowl. Oh my gosh, it looks so sweaty. It's hot. 
I wear my hair down, which I never do. But um, what was I saying? Yes, Coca-Cola. Cleaning and organizing at least my section of the craft art room. The other half is for Sean. And then I wanna do, try to cut some wooden bookmarks um, because the wood I got before is just not working. So I got some wood veneer, which should be thinner and work a lot better. So I wanna try that. And then maybe finish a couple of those because after I cut it, it's not necessarily done. I need to read. And I need to shower tonight. So that's the rest of my night. But I need to get cracking um, so I can read. And like I said, it says I only have like four and a half hours left of that book um, because it's a relatively short book. And I can easily get that done tonight if I dedicate myself to it. So, yeah. I'm going to get to work because I have a lot of stuff to do. But look at me go. I'm being so productive. Okay, bye. <laughs> stuff done so <laughs> as you saw I did my new like crafting desk which I think looks absolutely great I'll probably add little things here and there to make it perfect and I cut out my first summer night firefly bookmark and I plan on adding a little bit to it tomorrow evening and then I have to kind of find like the perfect thing to kind of like tie it all together. I know in my mind what I want to do but finding the right things <laughs> to successfully do it is a whole nother story. So that's kind of what that's going on but I was also going to shower, I was going to clean up a little bit, I was going to start reading and it's nine o'clock. <laughs> So I probably will stay up quite late reading, but I just need like the whole craft thing is sometimes kind of stressful because I'm teaching myself as I go. So I plan on starting a new TV show, which may be the worst thing to do when I have so many things to do, including finishing this arc, which came out today. Illustrated Girl by Josephine Angelini came out today and my review will probably be up um, tomorrow or Thursday, but um, it was supposed to be up today. and totally my bad. Like I said, I, I'm in a big reading slump and so I think that's also why I'm struggling so bad. My Lady Jane or Lady Jane something or another I think on Amazon Prime came out and it looks relatively good and I wanted to kind of test the waters with it. Watch Oh my gosh, look at the bags under my eyes. Test the first episode and all of that. So I have the rest of my vanilla Coke. I have a little Ghirardelli chocolate and I should probably eat dinner, but I'm not really all that hungry. I guess that milkshake really filled me up earlier, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. And then I plan on reading for a couple hours at least. So yeah, I'll be up for a while, but yeah. <laughs> and my Monday to-do list should be done by Friday. That's the kind of life I live, but okay, goodbye. <music> going zero miles an hour. There is a crash up there. <laughs> the one time I leave early, if not on time, to get to work on time, when I go into the office, I usually always get there like 10 to 30 minutes late. But uh, 
just a giant crash. Oh, I'm going three miles an hour now. Look at me go. But anyways, I guess while I'm sitting in traffic, I will update you on what I read yesterday. I read two more chapters of Illustrated Girl. And right now what I love so much about it is how like realistic the character is. So, you know, we all have those like thoughts as a reader ourselves where, you know, the main character is like, wow, like the light's hitting him just right. There's a halo around his head and his eyes are glistening. But our character, because she is originally a reader, but now she's stuck in a book, she's like, wow, the author took a lot of time to describe how light hit this guy. And you know, that's, that is so right. Cause sometimes I'm just like, wow, like that, you know, the light can't always be hitting someone at just the right angle to make him absolutely gorgeous. But if the author says so, it's true. It happens. So I just, I really love the kind of dynamic between reader into character, but still has the mind and the thoughts of a reader, even knowing she is now the character. So yeah, this book is just so unique. It's so original. Like I just love how absolutely like different it is from almost any other like fantasy that I've read. It's just, it's kind of nice. And I've also been watching those anime where, you know, a character like dies and then is reborn into like a game or a book or something like that. And usually it's the villainous and all of that. So um, I've been really into those lately. So this book is kind of like perfect for that. And yeah, but that is kind of where I am there. But uh, yeah. After work, I think I'm gonna probably go to the store and pick up a few things. The next couple of days, I probably won't really leave uh, the house all that much, but I want stuff to eat. So I don't have a lot to eat, so I'll probably stop at the grocery store on my way home and just uh, call it a day. I don't know, um, I guess we'll see. I do want to get a lot, if not all, of Illustrated Girl done today. So we'll see kind of when I get home and what kind of motivation I have. I did start My Lady Jane on Amazon Prime. It is not what I was expecting, but I'm actually loving it. So, you know, I guess it all kind of works out perfectly, but um, yeah, so that is where we are. That is where I am and yeah, that's it. Okay, my beautiful Wednesday morning update. Well, the cows, um, but yeah, okay. Bye. <laughs>
pun intended but yes anyways so it's thursday it's technically fourth of july i don't really care about fourth of july all that much besides the fact that i get the day off work um but i did log on for like an hour hour and a half today i'm um, just to catch up on things because i'm taking quite a bit of time off this week but i'm gonna cross my leg but my, my butt hurts um but yeah so i also got a good deal done on my disney dreamlight valley that i wanted to and now I want to finish my first wooden bookmark. So I'm kind of like the next thing on my to-do list, but I have this cut out. It's a little, it's a little flimsy, but it's gonna work. And then I have these acrylic brush tip markers where I want to kind of highlight some of the things like these dots are supposed to be fireflies. It's supposed to be like a summer night kind of firefly kind of like theme. And then I did get a bunch of other stuff to make like the tassel end of the bookmarks. I'm still waiting on a few packages because I order from Timu and it takes like a week, week and a half to get here. But if I need to wait on some of that stuff, I totally can. But I may have what I need already. We'll have to see. Just kidding. I have a whole different idea for this. I forgot about my own idea. Please let me show you. I organized as you saw. Oh, I see them. Okay. So it might be kind of big for the bookmark, but I'm desperate to make it work. So I got these like little like vial things and air conditioning just started up and I apologize but it's staying on because it's hot. I got these gold shimmer moons so I'm gonna put some in there and then I got glow in the dark mini stars that I'm also gonna put a couple in there. So this part if these actually work will be glow in the dark kind of end of the bookmark like tassel thingy and I think it's gonna be really cute. So um, that's kind of my idea for this but I'm gonna get on with the acrylic markers on the bookmark let it dry and then a little bit later I'm going to come back to this part but we're going to see I've never used acrylic markers before so it's going to be kind of trial and error but we'll just have to see but um yeah so I'm going to get started on this and I'll update you when I have the first layer done oh what am I doing that's going to be such a long vlog uh, I did read more of Illustrated Girl, like I said last night, and feelings are being had. So like our main character found like the hero of the story and they are so cute. <laughs> they really are. Um, I don't know if it's like endgame love or something like that because for her to get out of the book, she has to do something else that would I think conflict with kind of this budding romance that I feel. But I love the characters so much, like they're so realistic. Um, the hero's like sidekick guy is just a grumpy, grumpy man. Um, and then the three witches, uh, white witches that are virtuous and like all of that, uh, they're, they're so funny. I love them so much. And it's kind of like Princess Pleasant. I don't even know her real name. Have we even told her real name? I can't remember. But this whole like little found family thing that's going on is right up my alley but I'm still like smiling and smirking while I'm reading this book and it, it really is helping with my current book slump but now that I am up and motivated finally I have my caffeine right back here um it's actually my second form of caffeine today but we're not gonna talk about that but that's kind of what the rest of my day looks like I did want to do a little bit of cleaning downstairs because it's starting to look a little cluttered but besides that it's going to be reading in artsy fartsing around um but yes i will continue on and you will see my progress okay. <laughs> percent through illustrated girl and i just watched a episode of my lady jane and while i was doing that i was snacking but now that my hands are free again i was going to read some more so um cars are so loud found a scene that gave me like rapunzel and maximus vibes and i like post on instagram and stuff but it was just so heartwarming and i loved it so much but uh more feelings are being had by our main character and the like hero or hero person the dynamic in this book is a little different than normal 
I don't know how to explain it. But uh, yes, I hope they're in game. I really like them. Like they're really cute. I need them. I'm just so curious what the end of this book is going to be. I don't even know how to explain it, but we are going to keep reading and I will update you in, but okay. Yeah. Bye. <music>but
I can't blame anyone but myself because I know that happens to me. I have been watching House of the Dragon, House of Dragons. I don't know. I finally finished season one. I quit like two episodes before the ending of season one and then I started season two. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I got done what I needed to for this vlog, which was read Illustrated Girl. And then I did make progress in my audiobook of Dial A for Aunties and I have started liking it more. At the beginning I definitely didn't like it but uh, things are a little bit more fast paced, a little bit more high stakes and I am enjoying it a lot more. So yes, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below if you haven't already and uh, yeah, this is my return to my channel and like I said at the beginning of the video an update and kind of what's going to be happening with my channel will be coming relatively soon motivation will it be here i don't know but anyways uh yes goodbye